Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Today I want to do a fairly short video to show some of you how to do age-based markdown. Basically every item has been listed or is on eBay for a period of time. And you can see that some of my items have been over 82 days, some are 79 days, 62 days. And if I click on age here, I can actually sort it by my oldest, which is this one with 156 days. So uh, one of the things that we're going to do and create are age-based markdown. So I'm going to come here and I'm not going to be using the wizard for this. You could follow the wizard and, and do fairly uh, similar things. So I'm going to add a new record here and I'm going to activate my cell. It's going to be a perpetual one, which means that it's going to keep on recurring. And I'm going to call this items more than 30 days. So items that are older than 30 days. I'm going to give it a discount of 15 percent. And we're going to make it start at this time tomorrow on the 4th. And it's going to end exactly one day later. And it's just going to be a price discount and it's going to repeat every single day. So what it means is that every single day we're going to have this um, markdown start and then end. And the reason why I'm selecting a short period of time like this, and you could select two days a week, but let's say an item is currently um, 29 days and is an, on another uh, markdown it would have to be released or freed up from the other markdown because it could enter here. By creating markdown that keeps happening every single day, it gives the opportunity of the item to be dropped from another markdown and be inserted into this one. It's a personal preference of mine. Uh, now the percentage is not going to change and it's always going to be 15%. I'm going to select all of my item so they can, oh actually, I'm just going to make this happen for just the wig. So I'm going to select all of those. So item like this, um, this other item that I had, let's see if I can find it again for you. Nope, oh, I cannot, I guess. I, I could click on it and show you, but I would lose my cell here. So I'm going to finish that first my markdown and so I'm going to decide that items that are older than 30 days and younger than 59 will be in this cell right here. So that looks good and so that's going to be a 15% uh, for my uh, items that are older than 30 days. Now I'm going to add an Algebra record and say that items older than 60 days actually I'm going to say wig items are going to be discounted at 20% there you go and it's going to start tomorrow at we're not going to pick up the same time I'm going to pick up let's say noon pacific time and it's going to end one day later just the price only. It's going to repeat every day and the discount is going to stay the same. And again, I'm going to select all of my wigs here. The item will have to be between 60 and 89 days. And there we go. We got a sale. Now I'm going to go back to this one and just add the time, the word wig to the title. There. So now let's make another one that's going to be uh, items or wig items older than 90 days. Those are going to go for 30% on discount and I'm going to start it. Um, let's start this one at 20. I kind of like to spread my sales this way some item. It's, it's more dynamic for my store. Some item go on sale, some other gets off of it, creates a lot of traffic. It's always going to be a 30%. We're going to choose, I'm holding the shift key to select all of those, but you can hold, hold the control key and then select them one by one. 
and uh, let's see items older is gonna be 90 days and uh, let's see we're gonna pick 1825 and you're wondering why that's because it's five years and we're gonna say and if I still have it after five years then I'm doomed okay it's complaining here that oh I didn't enter the start date at the right place my bad and now I'm gonna create the cell and so now we have wigs that will be on sale at different time with different personage now again if a wig is um, 59 days and hop into this cell at 15 person we will have to wait till this markdown is finished before it can go here the day after and that is why I run one day sales that keep repeating itself if I had here ran a 30 day markdown on the 59th day would be added to this markdown and be stuck with it until 30 day later is when the markdown ends so I hope uh, this will help some of you to create age-based uh, markdowns uh, to help you get rid of your older inventory thank you